Accompanied by large caravans of horses, Gertrude entered Turabdin at Jezra. Carrying her furs and pearls, her wedgewood china and fine stemware, portable furniture, a canvas bath, and several tents and cameras, of course. Since 1892, when she visited her British ambassador uncle in Iran, she was an accomplished world traveler. She had translated the Persian works of Hafez, climbed the Swiss Alps in her underwear, and studied Arabic in Jerusalem in 1900, which, she said, was like talking with your finger stuck down your throat. She took extensive notes on the tribes and customs of the Kurds. At age 40, when she was at the peak of her skills intellectually, and perhaps even physically, she first beheld the wonders of Mount Islam. She scaled the rock cliffs up the narrow ledges to the monasteries of Augin. These were 4th century sites occupied by Egyptian monks who introduced a group form of monasticism that replaced the indigenous and radical individual wild man form of Christian monasticism in centuries earlier. Mount Isla held in its bosom dozens of monasteries over the centuries. It was a rich cauldron of archaeological and architectural information for Bell to photograph. Bell and her crew crossed over onto the high plateau and documented a river of monasteries on the dry limestone knolls 